Hey everyone, happy Monday. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day so far. I am here with a part one of my Black Friday candle haul. So I had a few Black Friday purchases that I made. One of them was Kringle, a very significant haul, which I'm gonna be giving you guys today. I also made a order for Yankee Candle, which I have here as well. And then the third one that I placed was Homework Swatch. If you've been following along, you know that I have not received that yet. It is not shipped. There's a whole shipping controversy going on right now with Homework. So I am patiently waiting for my Homework order, and I'm hoping that that will be here sometime next week so that I can get the part two haul up for you guys. But, um... I was sick of waiting. I've been, I've had this Kringle box here for like probably two weeks now because Kringle does very fast shipping and I've just had it sitting here waiting for the homeworks haul to come so I could film it all together, but I don't know if it's going to come. So we will just go ahead and film this now and then do the rest of it later once it gets here. But I want to go ahead and get this up for you guys and then do a part two when the part two is here. But Let's start off with Kringle, then I'll finish with Yankee. So I did pick up a lot of gifts for this Kringle order, and I did pick up a few things for myself as well. I will just go ahead and start off with the gifts. So the first thing I picked up was the Balsam and Cedar in the Country Candle. Now, you guys are going to laugh because these are very, these are two different companies, but I'm actually putting the Yankee Candle personalized labels on here. Um, I don't really think that these people that are going to be receiving these are going to care or um, really even notice. It's not very noticeable. You can barely see that Yankee Candle. But I really wanted to do personalized labels on these candles, but Kringle and Country do not offer like a personalized label option. So I just went to Yankee and printed off like some personalized labels and then stuck them on my Kringle candles too. So that is how I'm doing it. Again, I don't think they're gonna really notice or care. I think, you know, the picture's what matters. But like I said, I got the balsam and cedar one. This one is for my grandparents, one of them. Um, She really loves balsam and cedar. What are you doing? My dog is here. <laughs> um, this one is for her. She really loves like the tree scents and this one smells really good. So let me find the notes on here. Um, I actually am wishing that I got this for myself because I actually really like this. So the top notes are fir needle and lemon. The mid notes are cedarwood, clove, jasmine, and sandalwood. And then the base notes are amber, musk, tonka bean, and vanilla. So those are the scent notes. I really like this candle a lot. This smells like Kringle Country Candles version of the Balsam and Cedar scent from Yankee Candle. I really like that one, but I actually think I prefer this over it. It's just a nice like tree scent and it almost has a bit of creaminess to it. It's just really, really nice and does smell like Christmas. So I actually do plan to purchase this for myself next year, but I know that my grandma will really like this um, candle. It is the Tuwick Country Candle Paraffin Blend. So I think she'll really enjoy this one. So that is the first one. Okay, the second one is gonna be for my aunt. Sorry, I'm looking over here because I have my laptop. So, um, Fiji is the next one. So I knew that my aunt would probably like this. I think of her and I think of like um, water or like a river because we go to her river house a lot and that's what we did a lot as a child. So that's kind of what I think of her as. So this says, indulge in this floral fruity medley as water orchid, green coconut, kiwi blossom, and Tahitian vanilla are touched with accents of pineapple from Branapiniani. Don't know how to say that in amber your top notes are kiwi blossom mandarin and maguette your mid notes are fringa fringapini green coconut orchid and pear and your base notes are amber musk pineapple nectar and vanilla this smells really good it's very tropical it's a very nice mixture of like a fruity and a floral and it works really well together. I also get like a nice um, wateriness from this one, which 
I would guess I would because it's Fiji. When I first bought this, I thought it would kind of smell more like cologne or just like a watery scent. This is more of like a fruity element to it and like a very sweet floral. It's nice though. I actually have one of these downstairs for myself, um, but I purchased another one because I thought that she would really like this and the label is just stunning. So I'll be reviewing this for myself because I have one for myself downstairs that I'm going to do in the spring. So that is what I got for one of them. The other aunt, I got a Amber Wood. So Amber Wood came out this fall for Kringle Candle Collection. So Amber Wood says, the description says, smoldering smoky embers, sweet vanilla, and rich bourbon combined to create this sophisticated fall fragrance handcrafted for outdoor adventures. So your top notes are bourbon and spice vanilla. Your mid notes are wood, smoke, spice, and oak. And your base notes are birch, amber, and bourbon. I really like um, amber wood. This smells very nice. It smells very woodsy. It's got a lot of that amber in it, the sandalwood, but it just smells really good. And it kind of has like a masculine cologne vibe to it. Um, I think that she'll really like this one. And here's the photo that's on theirs. Um, it just smells very good. It is a fall fragrance, but I feel like this is something that she will like. And again, beautiful label stunning i did a whole in-depth review on this candle so definitely go check it out from a few months back but this just smells really good so that is what i got for her and then for my last aunt i picked up watercolors i really love watercolors watercolors is actually one of the first candles that i ever tried from kringle and i really fell in love with it when i purchased it um i did a whole review on this one as well so definitely go check that out but the description says, body the essence of approaching summer. We combine lavish florals and sweet fruits accords with a just right counterpoint of sandalwood and musk to create this masterwork. Your top notes are apple, citrus, and currant. Your mid notes are jasmine, musk, and rose. And then your base notes are sandalwood, sparkling strawberry, and sweet pea. Oh, I really love this one. This is a beautiful scent. It's got some fruitiness to it. It's got like a nice powdery perfuminess to it. Um, it's got a little bit of like floralness to it. It's just very nice and it's a beautiful blend. It smells very like pretty and just clean. And I really do love this smell. And this is something I would aspire my home to smell like. It's a really nice bedroom scent as well. Um, I just feel like it's a lighter scent, but it's really pretty, and the label totally goes with it, and I just think, like, everything about this watercolors, I just love it, and it totally fits the vibe, and this is the picture for her. This is from her wedding day, so I think she will really like this. So, yeah, those are the four gifts that I got for family. Now, let's talk about what I got for myself. Let me make sure it's no, that's not a crack. I thought that there was a crack in one of my candles. Okay, so the first thing I got for myself from Kringle was the Lavender Blueberry scent. <clears throat> now, this one was on a very big discount. Is it not on the site? It's not on the site. Here it is. Oh, it's sold out right now. But the top, okay, so it says Lavender Blueberry, it's back. A delicious, fragrant mashup of blueberry, vanilla, and lavender. Your top notes are blueberry and lavender. Your mid notes are vanilla cream. And your base notes are warm coconut. I love this so much. This smells really nice. I purchased the wax melt. Um, and then I really like the wax melt. So I got it in the big candle. Um. This smells very, very nice. I love both the scents of blueberry and lavender. So I knew I would really like this and that it would work together pretty well. I think I get more blueberry from this and then just a little bit of lavender in the background. But it's a really pretty blend. And I think this is going to be perfect for the springtime or just after the holidays. I have a lot of blueberries coming for, or like blueberry candles coming for, um, my homeworks order. So I think I'm going to be kind of burning all the blueberry ones at the same time and doing a whole like blueberry week. And so look forward to lots of blueberries reviews coming soon. 
Okay, I also picked up one of the holiday ones in the three wicks, and this one I'm going to save for next year. This is the Sandalwood and Cade. Now, I really, I was checking to see if the notes are on here, because the new Kringle ones have the notes printed on the bottom. This one does not, but I really loved this scent. Did a whole review on it, and I really love these three wick candles, and I think that this is what I'm going to purchase mainly from Kringle going forward, because it's got that beautiful, clean, pristine burn that the 100% soy wick jars have, but then it also has that little bit of an enhancement in the strength and throw, and these are just perfect. They do not last as long because it is a three wick, and it's actually a smaller container and does not hold as much wax in it but these are spectacular and they're really probably the best performing candles that I have so sandalwood and cade is a description of let me find it sandalwood and cade here it is so sandalwood and cade says a mystical mix of pine and eucalyptus with earthy, with earthy spice notes summoning the magic of evergreens shrouded in freshly fallen snow. Your top notes are chilled eucalyptus and fresh thyme and white pine. Your mid notes are apple leaf, warm cinnamon, and fir balsam. And then your base notes are cozy sandalwood, forest, oak moss, and musk. I really love this scent. This smells really nice. This one actually may get used this winter. I was thinking about keeping this one for next year to have during the holiday time, but I kind of like this more in like a wintry, like on a winter snowy day in January or February. I feel like this one would work really well. So I may use it then, um, but I'm not sure. I also feel like this could be a really pretty scent for the fall, so I may do that as well. I don't know, I think I wanna get more of these because I really love the scent and wanna have a lot of it in my house. I also just love the color and these hand-drawn labels are just really pretty. I love the pine cones and the color and just beautiful design. Kringle always is really good with the designs. Okay, then Kringle also had some of these two wick paraffin Kringle candles. Now these are very old because Kringle no longer does the paraffin uh, in the soy, but this is a two wick paraffin candle. So I'm guessing that they probably just had extra of these in the back and wanted to get them off. These were like $5, I think. They were very cheap. They were 75% off the original price. So I did pick up two scents that I wanted to try in these. And I, below, and I believe that both did sell out. And I could actually see both of these scents coming back as... Um, yeah, I can't even find the notes on here, but I could see both of these um, candles coming back as returning favorites because I really know that a lot of people love this first one right here that I'm going to talk about, which is Picket Fence. And then the other one is called Leaves, which is the Kringle candle version of like the leaves from Bath and Body Works and um, just like Harry Slatkin's OG Leaves which smells really good. And I'm going to talk about this in a second, but I could see this one coming back as your turning favorite for the fall time. And then I could also see this one coming back for the springtime. And these could both be best sellers, I think. So I think Kringle should definitely look at that. But um, I will just do my best to point out what I smell in both of these. So Picket Fence, this is very floral and it has a nice fruitiness to it as well. It's kind of got a muskiness in the base too, and it kind of has a perfumey, powdery smell to it almost, but it's very pretty. Um, I was very drawn to the label. I just loved like the roses and the fence, and it just looks really pretty, and I do love the scent. I am intrigued to see how this is going to perform. I'm going to guess that it's probably going to be sooty on me because it is the old paraffin blend. But we will have to see. It's a gorgeous scent. So I'm very excited to use this. And I do plan to use it this spring. It may just end up being crocked because it is probably not going to burn too well. But we will see. And then the other one, like I said, is Leaves, which is a old fall scent. But I could totally see them bring the, bringing this back. So let me see if Leaves is on here. I doubt it is. But if it is, that would be helpful. Yep, leaves is not on here, but I will give you my best um, interpretation of the notes. So 
This does smell like the Kringle Candle version of Bath & Body Works leaves and what Harry Slatkin created in the Slatkin & Co. days at Bath & Body Works. This has that really nice like clove bud spiciness to it as well as that like fresh crisp fall air and then a little bit of cranberry in there and kind of like a coloniness almost. It's a really pretty scent and it does smell like fall. I just love this label and I really would like to see this come back and I think it would, I could see this selling out if it did come back in like the two wick soy. This would be a really good candle, but um, yeah, it really does smell like leaves from Bath and Body Works or what is the Homeworks version of leaves? I forget. Is it called Golden Harvest? I think that's what it's called, but um, this just smells really good and I like how Kringle did their own touch on it. Don't even know why that's been discontinued, but it has. So that is everything that I got from Kringle Candle. Now let's finish off with Yankee Candle. I picked up only two candles but I do want to use both of these this holiday season. Um, I don't know if these will be on the website or not because I found them in the store. Yep. Okay, so the first one is Home for the Holidays. Now, I love this candle and I really liked it since I started shopping with Yankee. It has kind of like a nostalgic smell for me. Um, so I know Katie at Katie's Joyful Life really likes this one too because her mother used to burn this one. So um, it reminds her a lot of her childhood and um, I definitely get that same nostalgia from this one. So the description says, the holiday spices of cinnamon and clove mixed with earthy cedarwood and balsam. Your top notes are fresh pine and snowberries. Your mid notes are cinnamon and spice. And then your base notes are musky and wood notes. This is a really beautiful Christmas blend. It does smell like being at home during the holiday season. It's got that really nice spiciness to it with a little bit of a tree scent in the background. And I do think I get a little bit of like winter berry to it. It smells really nice though. I love the spiciness from this one. That like woody pine smell that I get and then the touch of berries. It's just it's very beautiful. It is in the one wick. Oh, don't want to drop it. <laughs> it is in the one wick original paraffin jar. So I don't know how this is going to perform, but I do want to use this one up this holiday. And I think it's going to be really pretty. I'm hoping it performs well, though. I'm probably going to review this one. So be on the lookout for that. And then the other one that I picked up, let's see if this one is going to be online. It is the White Christmas which I actually did not know that White Christmas came back, and it is online, by the way, but it did come back, and um, I had no idea, but I really like this one. So the top notes are mint, Siberian pine, and cool greens. The mid notes are cypress and blue spruce, and then the base notes are tundra wood, cedar, and pine. So this one says, there's a quiet holiday beauty in this blend of woodsy evergreens and cool, freshly fallen snow. This smells very good. It's a very fresh winter scent. You definitely smell that like fresh sparkling snow. And then you also get that nice like pine and evergreen smell in the background with a touch of spice as well, maybe some cinnamon. But it's another really pretty blend. This is another OG from Yankee. I remember when this one had the large like wider label, but I really love the label on this. It's like a snowy afternoon with a church in the background. It's just a very pretty scent and I really like this one. So I think I'm really gonna burn these together at the same time. And I think they're gonna make, they're gonna make a really nice blend. So yeah, that is my Black Friday part one haul from Kringle Candle and Yankee Candle. Let me know down below if you did any shopping with either of those companies or any other companies during Black Friday and let me know what you picked up. Again, I will be back for part two whenever my homework decides to get here. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new here. Turn on that notification bell if you want to get notified every time I upload. And I will be back for some new candle reviews tomorrow. See you guys then. Bye.